things happen in the spirit realm before they ever happen in the natural realm. So this servant was scared because of what he was seeing with his natural eyes. <laughs> he was afraid because of what he was seeing with his natural eyes. I wonder how many of us are terrified of things because you are only seeing it with your natural eyes. And so Elijah began to pray, Lord, would you open up his eyes so that he might be able to see? And then the Lord opened his eyes and then he saw. Watch this, y'all. He was seeing, but he wasn't seeing. Did y'all catch that? He, he was seeing, but he was not seeing. It wasn't until God opened his eyes for a second where he could see in the spirit realm, he could recognize what I see naturally shouldn't scare me because of what I see spiritually. Is this making sense? And the same prayer that Elijah prayed for his servant is the same prayer that I've been praying over myself, is the same prayer I'm praying over the people I serve, is the same prayer I'm praying over the people I pastor. God, open their eyes so that they might see. Please hear me, church family. Your natural eyes, the eyes in your head give you sight. But the eyes of your heart give you insight. Okay? The eyes in your head give you sight, but the eyes in your heart give you enlightenment. Let me give you Bible. Ephesians chapter 1, verse 18. It says, I pray that the eyes of your what? Of your what? Y'all talk to me. The eyes of your what? Heart may be enlightened in order that you may know the hope to which he has called you. I pray that you don't just see with your eyes. I pray that you also see with the eyes in your heart because that gives you insight. Hmm. I wonder, maybe we would stop letting fear counsel us and talk us out of what God has talked us into if we had some insight. Just maybe we would stop or perhaps we would trust the pace and the timing of God if we had some, talk to me, insight. Maybe we would stop lurking and monitoring the page of an individual or a place that left your mental health and your spiritual growth on life support if we had some insight. Oh, I'm about to get in trouble. Maybe you would stop sleeping with them if you had some insight. See, because with your natural eyes, he fine, ain't he? Mm -hmm. with, with your natural eyes, she fine, isn't she? I know. Oh, but if you could see them in the spirit. Oh, it's getting quiet now. Oh, oh if you could see them in the spirit. Some of us will see that you're sleeping with a demon. Yeah, if, if you could see in the spirit, you would see that you're having an orgasm exchange with a devil. <laughs> Maybe that's why it's hot. Y'all don't want to talk to me. Y'all don't want to talk to me. If we could see what our prayers are doing in the spirits, perhaps we would have a prayer life. If we could see what our worship is doing in the spirits, if we could see what our praise is doing in the spirit. See, I'm convinced if you could see what your worship is doing, when we have collective worship, there's no way you can have your hands in your pocket. There's no way you can look around and figure out what's going on. Because if you saw in the spirit realm the chains that are falling off your brother and the chains that are falling off your sister, if you had a chance to see if you could see angels are fighting the spirit of, of guilt and shame while praise and worship is going on, you might lift up your hands because there's some stuff I need to fall off me too. There's some stuff I need to break in my life too. There's some things I need God to do in my life too. If we could see in the spirit, 
if you could see what this sermon is doing in the spirits, if you could see what your church is doing in the spirits, if you could see what your words are doing in the spirit, here it is, and if you could see what your choice is. See how quiet I got right there? If we could see what our choices are doing in the spirit, and if we could see how the spirit of fear is causing for us to forfeit things in the spirit, I believe we would start to go to war with the spirit of fear. Can I get somebody to say, open our eyes? eyes. If we could only see what's happening in the spirit. See, I don't want to miss out on any door that I'm supposed to walk through. Anybody else? I don't want to miss any opportunity, any upgrade, any blessing, any inheritance that fear will cause me to miss because that's what the spirit of fear does. It causes for you to miss out on the life you could have lived. Talk Holy Spirit. Fear is designed to keep you out. There's a life that God has for you and God wants us to do it but do we have the faith enough to listen to when God says go and listen when God says stay do we have the faith or have we allowed fear to talk us out of it see many of us right now we are living under the influence of the spirit of fear making choices under the spirit of fear, making decisions under the influence of the spirit of fear. We are making predictions of our future because we're living under the spirit of fear. You can't love certain people because you're living under the spirit of fear. Can't see ourselves correctly because we're living under the spirit of fear, constantly overthinking Because we're living under the influence of fear. Because watch this, fear has children. I'm trying to help us. It's quiet. What lets me know the Holy Spirit is right on to something. Fear is a parent. And it has children. Children that go by the name of anxiety, overthinking, and phobias. The word fear in the Greek is phobos. It's where we get the word phobias from. I would waste 40 minutes of my sermon time if I were to break down to you how many phobias exist in the world today. There are hundreds of them. You should look them up. Phobia of water and phobia of rain, phobia of small spaces called claustrophobic. Phobias. The spirit of fear is a director of lies. I want you all to hear me. Think of a movie. The spirit of fear is the director of lies that hands you a script of fraudulence for us to memorize so that we could be cast in the film of Missing Destiny. Did y'all hear what I just said? The spirit of fear is a director of lies and it hands us a script of fraudulence to memorize so that we could be a cast member in the film of Missing Your destiny because that's what fear does it makes you miss the life you could have lived it it causes for us to believe a lie as truth and it's hard for God to use somebody who is in an agreement with lies this is so good y'all it's quiet it's quiet there are people under the sound of my voice you see yourself through a lens of lies. And Satan has been working on your head all day. For some of us, he's been working on your head all last night. Oh, he's been working on your thoughts all this week. Some of us, he's been working on your head all month. For the last year, he's been working on your thoughts. You know why? Because he knows that if I could infect the motherboard of their meditations... With fear and fraudulence, meditations become manifestations. Did y'all hear me? I want to work on their head 
because I know whatever they meditate on can transition into manifestations. Hear me. Thoughts are just seeds. That's all they are. Thoughts are just seeds. How they become crops is when we water them by meditating on it, dwelling on it, rehearsing it, looping it over and over. And so I know if I can get them to meditate on a lie, if I can get them to dwell on a lie, if I can get them to rehearse lies, they will begin to make predictions about their futures from a lie. (laughs) I'm talking to somebody. So you will begin to think a lie is going to happen because of a lie you currently believe. So the lie I believe on Tuesday is affecting what I view is going to happen next month. Because they only come in seed form. Can I mess this up? The, The enemy is really not necessarily concerned about those that are his. Like those who live according to the flesh, those who traffic in evil, those who can care less about the gospel. Now, understand, anybody at any moment, as long as you have oxygen and as long as you have breath in your lungs, you could turn to Christ. But he is hoping that due to their choices, they will self-sabotage their own destiny. So I'm not really tripping too much about those that are mine. But it's, it's the ones that he lost. <laughs> it's the ones that are causing problems for his kingdom. It's the ones that are irritating him. See, when you live a life that gets on hell nerves, he tries to get on yours. <laughs> Someone's like, okay, I'm going to stop then. Please don't. <laughs> so he knows, okay, um, I'm not necessarily concerned about those that are mine right now. But those I've lost, I'm going to try to become a mental assassin. I'm going to strive to become a psychological terrorist of the mind. See, if, if on our claimed Christian journey, claimed, emphasis on claimed, on our claimed Christian journey, if you never have a defeated thought, If you would never have a situation that tries to scare you into retreating, if you never feel conviction, if you never encounter a devil, it might be because y'all are both going the same way. That part. (laughs) Y'all might be going the, the, the same way. But for the rest of us who have made up your mind, like ever since you made up your mind to be sold out, Like ever since you made up your mind to start bringing your family to church, ever since you made up your mind that 2022 is going to be the year of my spiritual evolution, ever since you made up your mind that God, if you don't bless it, I don't want it. If it's not your will, I don't want it. Ever since you made up your mind that I'm going to start seeking his face more than I seek social media, ever since you made up your mind that I'm going to start praying, ever since you made up your mind that I'm going to start fasting on things, ever since you made up your mind when somebody does take interest in me, I need to fast first to say, God, are these feelings coming from you or are they coming from my flesh? Because feelings can lie to me and I don't want to entertain something that you can't bless. Ever since you have made that resolve in your heart, you have been bombarded and harassed by an array of thoughts that many times are just lies. Can I get somebody to say it's a lie? So his goal is to try to make us Make choices from a place of fear versus making choices from a place of being fearless. (laughs) Because you cannot be spirit-led and counseled by the spirit of fear at the same time. Faith and fear both demand for you to believe in something. Did y'all hear me? Faith and fear both demand... For you to believe in something. Faith says, I need you to believe that everything that God said is true. And live your life like it. That's faith. But fear says, I want you to traffic in what ifs. 
What if I fail? And what if they don't hire me? And what if I fall short? And what if they don't accept my application? What if this doesn't work? Faith and fear both demand for you to believe in something. The question I'm trying to ask us this afternoon is which one will you believe? What your faith says or what your fear says. If you want to know that you're one that hell lost, it's when you start having thoughts like this. You're no good. That's not going to happen for you. Your past is too dirty. You're really not forgiven. Do you think God could use somebody like you? Ain't nobody ever going to love you. You're always going to be alone. Your ministry ain't going to work. Nobody's going to subscribe to your channel. Nobody's going to listen to your podcast. You're going to get laid off soon. You saw they sent them a paper. You're next. This is not going to happen for you. When you start hearing thoughts like that, rejoice. Because it's irrefutable evidence that hell lost one. He lost one. And fear is trying to make you miss out on the life that God has called for you to live. Fear tries to make you miss out on that life. Can I get somebody to say that life? That life, I'm talking about kingdom life. Kingdom life, when you're walking around in your right mind and you know who you are and whose you are because you know God has not given me the spirit of fear. I'm talking about kingdom life. Kingdom life, when heaven follows you, but hell fights you, and you know that God has not given me the spirit of fear. I'm talking about kingdom life. When you know that, yea, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. It's because you know that God has not given you a spirit of fear. I'm talking about kingdom life. When you know no weapon formed against me shall prosper, that does not mean they won't form. It just means that they won't prosper because you know that God has not given you the spirit of fear, but a power, love, and a sound mind. I'm talking about kingdom life, that your, your presence shifts climates. When your prayer life calls for bullets to go another direction and miss you and your loved one, kingdom life. Can I get somebody to say kingdom life? Because I know that God has not given me the spirit of fear. I'm talking about kingdom life to where your prayers unlock doors that Satan thought he had bolted. Y'all better come get me. Satan will have to have a meeting with his demonic staff and ask, how did they get past our security? How did that line, that landmine not take them out? How did that divorce not take them out? How did them talking about them not take them out? They know they're sensitive. How are they ignoring that? They turned down the drink. I'm confused. How are they still worshiping? I'm confused. How are they still faithful? I'm confused. How are they still seeking God? I'm confused. How are they still devoted? I'm confused. How are they still crying to the helper? I'm confused. It's because I know that God rescued me. I'm just thankful that God saved me. I'm thankful that he didn't throw me away. I'm thankful that he's not holding my sins against me. I'm thankful that he has a call on my life. I'm thankful that he has a call on your life. I'm thankful that he sees me as worthy. I'm thankful that he sees me as righteous, not by my works, but by Jesus' righteousness. Would you give a God a praise in the house?